Hey, welcome back to Cobbs Q. Today, we're gonna to talk about big green egg maintenance, more importantly, band maintenance. We had an issue, we put brand new bands on the egg about a month and a half ago. They're over 10 years old, and I've been having a lot of problem with overbite that I just simply couldn't correct. I put new bands on, problem solved. Fast forward about a month, I did my first pork butt, and then I realized about midnight, I was getting a lot of heat escaping from the back of the egg. I had an adjustment issue and a lot of heat was escaping between the seal. So today we're gonna to go out, we're gonna fix that because we have a brisket that we're gonna to cook tonight. And I'll give you a little tip. We did the brisket after we did the fix. We went 18 and a half hours. It was an amazing brisket. We got up to 15 hours, 200 degrees dead, nonstop the entire time. And if I like, yo, you need to hurry up. So then I increased the heat. So it worked. It, it did exactly what I wanted. So very happy with the outcome. Go ahead and follow along with what we're doing. And I think you're going to be very happy if you have any problems with new seals or fairly new seals, yet you're getting leaks from around the outside of the egg. One other thing I do have to mention, the camera is gonna be a little shaky today. Please forgive the cameraman. He got a fracture in his left foot running a fundraiser event. He was on mile 12 when he went down. So he's doing the best he can wearing a boot and trying to videotape. So please, again, if the video shakes at all, don't blame the cameraman, he's doing the best he can. Let's go outside. Today, we're gonna do a little maintenance on the egg. We did a pork butt a couple months ago after I finished putting brand new bands on the egg and I noted that I was getting a leak in the back of the egg. So we wanna fix that, but I went to adjust and the screw had stripped. So I reached out to egg to find out what size nuts and bolts they used and they said, hey, we're just gonna send you a new set. And that took some time, but they showed up. So we're finally getting an opportunity to put those on today. So we wanna show you exactly what we see and what the problem is and what we're gonna to do to fix it. So what we're gonna do is use a standard dollar bill and show you exactly what's going on. I'll hit the front of the egg and close it. And you'll notice it's very difficult to pull this out. A Little bit easier there, but I can par hardly move it here. That's fine. But let's go to the back of the egg I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna lay the dollar bill here so you can see that. Shut the egg. And then if you come back here and take a look, the dollar bill, two fingers, pulls right back out. It's, there's no pressure whatsoever back here. And because of that, the egg is leaking. I'm finding it takes a long time uh, to cool down. And if I can take the bill and simply move it like this, then this isn't seated properly. And since it's not seated properly, all that pressure and smoke is coming out the back. This isn't sealing right. And then it's really hard to control the uh, swings and temperature. So what we're gonna do to correct this is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna release these bands. And this top screw is exactly what's stripped out. Uh, I actually tried to do it while I was cooking, which wasn't smart. And I noticed that it started to strip. So I left it in place so I could at least lift the lid without it falling apart. Um, and that's when I reached out. And then we're gonna unscrew these. We're gonna go ahead and loosen the nuts on either side of uh, the bracket and also up top. I'm gonna go ahead and take the tables off so it's easier to manage the, um, the bands. And we're going to raise and lower just a little bit. And I think we're gonna be able to get this right back in to where it's completely tight around almost all edges. So we get a really nice even cook. So with that, we're gonna need a 7 16 inch and those for the nuts. And then we need a half inch and that's for uh, the big bolts back here. So first off, take 7 16 We're gonna get rid of our tables. Just get them out of the way. We'll do the same on the other side. Now that we've got the tables off, we wanna go ahead and just loosen, um, actually, we're gonna take our springs off first. So, let's think about that. Raise the lid. We're gonna move this little piece of rubber right here, hold on to that. 
There we go. There's one. You just leave it hanging. I'm going to get the opposite side. And the rubber is just to make sure this thing doesn't rust. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and take the spring, stick them aside. Now we're going to close this carefully. Again, we're going to go ahead and loosen these. Okay, that's loose. Do the other side. And finally, just loosen the top section here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace one bolt at a time. Since I have brand new bolts, we're going to leave the bands close to where they are, but before we tighten them down, we're going to make those adjustments, make sure that the dollar bill is sliding properly between everything, and then we'll tighten stuff down. Apparently, I didn't do that last time. So I'm going to go ahead and swap over to my half inch and just start to loosen this down. Due to the length of the bolts, this is one you just can't get a socket on. And if you've never put bolts on, say this is your first time doing an egg, setting an egg up, etc., you're going to look at this and you're going to say, oh my gosh, you've tightened that down so much. There's like a quarter inch here. That's what you want. When you first get these together, and you'll see that as we put it on, it's going to look tight, yet it's not tight enough. The egg will not crack. You need to keep cranking down until you got about a quarter inch between these, and that'll be nice and tight. You don't want to take a chance of the band letting loose as you're raising and lowering your egg because if that happens uh, your lid could break okay to finish that off I did use a little ratchet you can see where this was stripped right through here so I could not get this to tighten any further after I loosened it to try to adjust it so that's why we need new uh, bolts so we have a bolt the square portion of the nut is gonna go on the square hole in the band you have your washer and a nut. Okay, we're just going to do a, a slight tighten on this. We're not going to get it too tight yet, but we want to get the two together. And I also want to see this pull down inside. Okay, so I've gotten this tight enough. There's a little play in it. I'm good with that. So now I'm going to go ahead and take this one off and get it close to the same so I can adjust these bands. So let's go ahead and we'll just start loosening this one here and get it off. Okay, we got the new bolt on. I'm going to go ahead and put a washer. We're going to start the nut to seat those down in. Once it's already bent, it's a little hard. So I'll just take a pair of vice grips right here and do that. It stays right in. And now as I tighten these things down, it'll pull it and then keep it in that location so we don't have to worry about it popping back out again. That's going to hold it in place. Now we can go ahead and just start tightening a little bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and move and adjust the bands. So with the bottom band, I want just a little bit of green showing, just a little bit of green all the way around on this bottom one. And that'll be good there. I'm going to have to do this one person, which makes it a kind of a pain. But I'm going to keep tightening and then we'll just keep adjusting. Okay, so I'm going around and I'm making sure that the band it's just barely showing any of the green and uh, I went ahead and slid a dollar bill in the back I'm not going to worry about adjusting the lid front and back right now that'll come once I start tightening these but I'm curious if I've now got this where it's tight and that's a hundred times better than it was last time so I don't want to really mess with that right now I'm going to tighten it down a little bit more and see if we're completely happy Again, I want these two married up, so I'm just going to take the vice grips, just make sure that that's in there, like such. That'll hold a little bit more. Then I'm going to walk around and make sure, once again, I'm keeping my placement. I feel like that's a little low. That's better. All the way around, I am seeing just like an eighth of an inch. That's looking pretty good. That's better. We're going to tighten the top band up again right quick. Make sure that is holding so we don't lose the egg. Because I can always loosen these because I haven't started to bend the, the bolts yet. Once again, I want to test this. So I'm going to stick a dollar in the front. Very tight over on that side. 
on this side, very tight. Okay, we're gonna put one in the back. And see how that comes out. Very tight. I gotta actually raise it to get that out. Let's look back here. And once again, much better. That's 100% better. So all we did was we raised this bottom band up. The band was a little too low in the back here. And because of that, the back of the lid was raised up. So just by raising this a bit and dropping this together, we've got a really nice seal. We're gonna keep checking. And before I get these too much tighter, I wanna make sure that at least my front and back and side to side look good. I don't have too much of an overbite. That looks good there. Looks good there. And we look okay in the back. Do you see this band here? We got a pretty good seal there. And then come around the sides and take a look at our band. So we had a good seal here, a little bit up front. We can always take that and just push it back just a hair. That'll be a good, go ahead and tighten this down. I won't be able to move this again, so I'm gonna do one more dollar bill check because again, I wanna make sure when I light up this egg tonight to do brisket, the issue that I had with leakage all around the place will no longer be an issue. So let's take a look up front. Yep, that's gonna hold. That's tight. That side is absolutely tight. We're tight. Yeah, so again, if this is the first time you're putting your egg together, this, I want about a quarter inch apart. So I'm just gonna tighten each one of these together. Look one more time, make sure I'm happy with the way that is, because once it goes, it goes. You are not gonna damage your egg. These bolts will bend, that's normal. Okay, I'm happy with that top one. It's not going anywhere. Hit that bottom one just a little bit more. There we go, that's about right. Now, the next thing we wanna take a look at is our sides and make sure that we're happy front, back, side to side before we tighten these down. The back is a little far forward. There we go, that looks good. Okay, and so up front, we're gonna take a look at the seal, and yeah, we can see we don't have an overbite, an underbite, anything. This looks really good together. These are aligned, so let's go ahead and tighten this down. We're gonna start in the back. We're going to tighten an outside, and then I'm gonna come over to this side and tighten the outside. Then I'm gonna to come to the inside, and I'm gonna to come to the inside over here. Now I wanna go ahead and once again get these on where they're snug. And I just do it like I do a car when I'm tightening lug nuts. I don't do them all on one side. Good enough. Now I'm gonna come over here, make sure once again I'm happy. And everything appears to be really well. So let's go ahead and tighten this up. Okay, we'll come over to the other side. And that's that. So. Next thing will be to put our springs back on, so let's go ahead and lift the egg. And we got our springs. And then at the same time, we should have a little rubber piece that was on there that we took off. We're gonna take our spring, we're gonna come through the under area with the spring up. Then I'm simply gonna drop it in place. And then I'm gonna take the little piece of rubber, which all that's doing is helping that from rusting right there. And now let's do the other side. We'll put this on. And to save ourselves a little bit of trouble, we're gonna go ahead and put a dollar bill in a couple places. Let's take a dollar here, let's take a dollar here, and the front side we can play with, so we'll do that. All right, tight. That's a little loose, we can work on that, and that's happened when we did this, and that's tighter than it was before. Okay. That's going to be this one and lower that and that should pull that down. So with that, I want to take this, take the springs off so I can 
steal this. We were there, but once we put the springs and everything on, it started to get a little loose back there. And oftentimes, we do this without the springs, we notice now it's really, really tight. When we put the springs on there, it pulls it back. So what happens is it kind of raises it. So we want to lower this just a hair in the back. So we're loosening that just a hair. I also want to loosen these here because I want to force that top part down. Once again, just keep loosening that just a hair. And I want to push these down. That's good. That's good. That's better. It's lower. Tighten that back. And one more. For good measure. All right, let's check that with the dollar. Got no springs on, so you got to be careful the way we lift the lid. It's definitely tight. Tighten these. Okay, one last check and then we're putting the springs on. So we're gonna stick two dollars in there to make sure that uh, lower it right quick before the springs. Take a look. That's perfect. That's exactly what we want. We'll see how much the springs affect everything. At this point, we've done everything we can do to make sure that the gap is gone. Springs will just work their way in over time. These are fairly new springs. We've got the dollar still there. So it's a little loose compared to what it was, but Again, we've seen that that's what it is. That's a lot better than it was. Before I can move it back and forth, I can't do that now without tearing the bill. So I think we're very good. Okay, in a nutshell, it's a lot of playing back and forth with different things to make sure that uh, you got a good tight seal. Again, the bottom band, I like just like an eighth of an inch, if that between the uh, bottom band and the green showing before I get to the uh, felt seal. So that's in place. Uh, I'm good to go up front on the sides. It looks real good. So now all we need to do is put our shelves back on and we have an egg that's ready to go. We'll be able to cook the brisket tonight. We won't have to worry about this excess heat finding ways out. So it's gonna be a lot more manageable. And I think ultimately we'll get a better cook. Okay, so we've got the tables back on. Everything is ready to go. Again, we've got the eighth inch between the band and the seal. Um, I'd like to take a moment and thank Big Green Egg again for sending me an entire uh, screw and nut set. I simply asked them about uh, the size of the nuts and asked them to find out what I should go buy. And they said, don't worry about it, we'll send it to you. So Big Green Egg, thank you very much. That was above and beyond and not what was expected. I was also willing to pay and you didn't even charge me. Uh, thanks uh, for taking the time today to sit down and see how we do this. I hope you'll take a moment and like and subscribe. And thanks again for sharing your time with us. Have a blessed day.